So this is the app. Um, so to navigate to the uh, task manager, we're going to go into the uh, navigator and then under the applications, um, there's a task manager. So here uh, you'll see all the tasks um, that's already loaded in um, into this template called, called the annual plan. So templates are, I mean, tasks are associated with templates. Um, so you could pick your template. Template could be like annual budget, annual plan, um, update dimensions. Um, yeah, you can. So uh, here uh, you'll see like uh, information on each task, like the uh, start date, end date, who's the assignee, what's the task type. Um, and then you could add filters to find your task as well. So to create a new task, we go to the plus sign here, click on it, and then a window will pop up. We name you can um we're going to put in a task name. Let's do update review budget revenue form and uh give it the task ID. Let's do this 80. And then the source is coming from annual plan, and then we'll do a test type um, under planning and budgeting. We'll do interform data, and then priority. We could uh, you could set your high, medium, or low. We'll do we'll do the medium, and everything as default. Next one, we'll go to the parameter tab, and then we're going to select our form that's associated with this task. Use this OFS revenue plan form. Okay. And then next tab, uh, if there's any instructions, you could include it here or any that at the bottom, you could include any reference doc or um, link uh, for the reference. But I'll leave it as default for now. And then we're going to the workflow tab. So in the workflow, you assign the assignees and the start end dates and the approvers. So let's assign a person, a user to this task. Let's do Alex Smith. And if there's any backup assignee, you can also assign it here as well. Um, but we'll just leave it blank for now. Um, so start date, you can pick a start date for this task. So day zero is um, is like the first day of your budget or forecast process. So for this task, let's just do day zero. We're going to start at day, yeah, day zero and ends at day one. And you can also set your time here. Um, there's a check box here where you could have it allow early starts on the task. Um, we'll just leave it as default for now. And then we could add a prover as well. So a prover for this test, we'll select Amy. And then you could uh, select the end date for the prover for this test. We'll do day one as well. And then um, just click and save, save and close. And then you'll see the newly added tasks here. So once the new task added, uh, we will deploy these tasks in the schedules um, and users can start submitting them. So in schedules here, we have one already open, um, the plan October FY24. It's associated with the period and the year, as you can see here. Um, and then it shows how many tasks are in this um, schedule. So let's go and um, submit this uh, new test that we just created. So as a user, um, they always go to the home page. There's a task icon here, or you could go to as well as navigator. There is a task as well. So either way goes to the same place. So let's go to work list first. So the first tag here is the work list. Um, so work list is where you will see all the tasks um, where you can filter it by period and year. So that schedule that we deploy um, is October 2024. 
And then you'll see all the tasks that's associated uh, for this period and year. And then on the right-hand side, you'll see a little summary um, information on the task. So it shows you like there are how many tasks all together. There's 80 of them, um, like three of them are late, um, zero due today and one due within seven days. And these are hyperlinks. So you can always click on it to see uh, what the late tasks are. So let's say I click on the late, there's two, three of them that are late. All right, so let's go to the second tab here is as tasks. Um, in this tab, you will see more information on the task. So as this table, um, you'll see more information like uh, task ID, um, the status of the task, their start date, end date, task type, assignee, and um, approvers. Um, and these columns, you can reorganize, um, you can delete, you can add by going into actions and select columns. Um, and then you can also use these filters um, to filter the information that you want to see for the task. So right now we have schedule is planned October of 2024, and these are the tasks associated with the schedule. So let's go find the one that we just added. So the, it's at the bottom. Um, so it's update review budget revenue form. Let's click on it and see more information on it. So at the top of here, the, the top bar here, we'll see um, a blue icon with the arrow that is open with, with assignee. Um, there's four days left to do this task. The um, priority, if there's any comments, questions, attributes, or alert, it will appear here. And in the middle, it will open up the form uh, that's associated with this task. And then on the right-hand side here, we have uh, more information on this task. Like here it shows the properties, the name, the task ID status, um, start date, end date, uh, we have more, if there's any instructions included, it will appear here. We have alerts, question, uh, questions, attributes, uh, comments. Um, let's go to the workflow. So wor also workflow, um, it will show you who's the assignee and who's the approver for this task. And also at the end, there's a history on this task where it logs um, all the changes for this task. So once the, uh, the user review this form, everything looks okay and they want to complete the task, all you have to do is come out here and submit the task. And then all warning signs uh, will pop up saying, are you sure you want to submit this task? Let me say yes. So once that's submitted, it will say open, before it says open with signee, now it's open with approver. So if you go to the workflow tab, now we see the check mark for signee, and then it's on approver now, it has to come in and approve this task to complete. So I'll just pretend I'm approver right now as well. So I'm going to approve this task. And now you see the uh, the icon to be closed, a green check. Let's close that over here. So in this table here, you'll see the icon. It's a green check mark. That means it's completed and closed. All right. Um. So let's look at the uh, dashboards. So overview. Let's go to overview. So here it shows you a high, uh, high level summary of the um, task for the October, 2024. Um, so you could filter it or view by schedule, priority task type or organizational units. So priority here, we have like uh, 58 incomplete that are median priority. Uh, one complete for median and one complete for high, 20 incomplete for high. And then there's like a pie, pie chart here. 
Um, there's three open tasks, three late, um, zero on time. And these are all hyperlinked. So you could always click on it and see which tasks are um, late, uh, what tasks are incomplete. Um, so, so let's click on one of these. So it says 58. So here's 58 tasks that are incomplete. And then one completed. It's the one that we just completed. Then you could view by schedule as well. So schedule is planned October 4, 24. There's 78 incomplete and two of them are complete. So let's go to compliance. So in the compliance, we have more stats um, to show on this um, task. Uh, it, it's by period and year as well. So here it shows you there's two completed tasks. 95% um, of them are prepared on time, 100% approved on time. And if there is any rejection um, task or open alert, it will appear here. And at the bottom here, you'll see like all the users uh, who's assigned to a task and their, if their tasks are on time, if it's late or if there's any rejections. All right, so let's go to dashboard tab. So here we'll have more dashboard um, built for, um, for these. So let's click on one of the task execution dashboard. So here it shows you more about the task. So um, first box here, it's a summary of this um, schedule for the plan. And we have like, uh, shows you the late open, pending and close. And these are all hyperlinked as well. So you can always click on it. So we could click on it. Uh, these are all the ones that's been closed. And then uh, we'll see which task that needs attention. Um, these are also hyperlinked. So you can always click on it as well. And then we have categorized by statuses, by organ organizational units and by assignees as well. And these are these graphs, you could click on it as well. All right, so lastly, let's go to report. Um, so these are out of the box uh, report for task manager. Um, the output format, you could choose which one you want, like a CSV, Excel, HTML, or PDF. Um, so let's generate one of the report, um, let's see. So let's do late task, generate. Okay. And then when October 524 is our schedule, October and then generate. So I picked PDF for this. Once generated, it will open a PDF. Okay, here it is. So in this PDF, uh, you'll see three tasks um, that are late and who's the assignee. So we could always go back to the user uh, email then and see what's going on with these tasks.